Hello and welcome to the Faces of Africa Pocket Edition, where we dissect and discuss the topics covered in our weekly documentary show, which takes you through the continent's history, cultures, and major issues through exploring great personalities. This week on Faces of Africa podcast, we're talking about an interesting farming concept called hydroponics. It's a different type of uh, farming, of course, we'll be telling you about later in the podcast from Lesotho. My name is Fatia Mohamed Noor. I am here with Jeff Mode. Hi, Jeff. Been a while. Hi, Fatia. How have you been? Been great. Yourself? Okay. I'm good. You've been traveling the world, I see. Yeah, we are. Well, it's just in Rwanda. Okay. <laughs> but we are creating some content for Faces of Africa, a good documentary that's coming out. Fantastic. From there. I can't wait to watch it. Right. So let's just jump into the conversation now and talk about hydroponics. Mm-hmm. The name of the documentary itself is called Green Diamond. Very interesting name. Yep. But the whole concept is on something called hydroponics. And according to my understanding, yep. It's a type of farming does, that does not need soil. Yeah, it's it's a, it's an interesting concept uh, when you think about mm-hmm. it. This technique of growing plants using a water-based nutrient solution rather than soil. Mm-hmm. It uses lesser space mm-hmm. and then you grow it using some plastic uh, pipings and tubings, which is amazing. Our farm uh, is a hydroponics farm. So we basically don't grow vegetables using any soil. So instead of using soil, we do use what is called a grow media. Apart from uh, clay pebbles and grow pots, we have the grow channels. So grow channels are these pipes, which mainly uh, are used to transport the nutrient through the plant's roots. It's actually very beautiful when you watch. Sure. It's different. And it's, again, it talks about technology. Yes. That this is where technology comes in to solve modern day problems. The land area is shrinking because of the population is booming, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So gone are the days when families used to have like 100 acres of land somewhere. Mm-hmm. So now you'll find the land is smaller and shrinking, right? right? So this technology helps people to grow food even on their balconies. And I think it's very interesting that it's that easy sort of you can access it. Which is good. Yes. But then the, the main character of uh, this documentary, Mpali, Correct. Um, he's really invested heavily in hydroponics and he thinks it's a climate smart type of agriculture, which I do agree, the current world we live in. I think it's a fantastic idea. Is it something you'd be intrigued yourself? Yes, it's a fantastic idea. Knowing that you use less water, mm-hmm. you don't use soil, mm-hmm. um, you, you use something they call the grow agents, mm-hmm. and then that you can do this type of farming anywhere. Yeah, It doesn't matter whether you're in the urban areas or in the rural areas, you mm-hmm. can be able to do to do this type of farming anywhere. Even in a, in a storage building, mm-hmm. on your balcony, you can be able to start hydroponics and farm. Yeah, because I mean, when you watch the documentary, it actually talks about how there's food insecurity in Lesotho and that's one of the ways that he's trying to tackle that particular issue but realistically though Jeff if you were to talk about this um, really especially in in an area like Lesotho Mm -hmm. do you think it's a sustainable method farming method for people who especially live in the highlands Um, is it affordable also what are your thoughts on it because I kind of think that it's a great um, opportunity in Mm -hmm. what they're doing but I don't think it's affordable to everybody it's affordable when you look at it from this is technology that is coming in to help alleviate a situation right yeah you can be able to plant your food anywhere grow your crops and your food anywhere yeah. all right you don't need that huge mass of land to uh, to grow your food mm-hmm. number two it will use less water and then number three you don't have to get in the expensive um like um tractors or labor force to try okay. and grow your food so looking at it from that perspective you can see it's really affordable do you think then africa is ready to embrace hydroponics as a way of farming especially to deal with food insecurity it's a high time africa utilized all available means to try and feed itself. Mm -hmm. I can see, apart from even Lesotho, hydroponics is also in Kenya. People are starting to warm up to hydroponics in Kenya. Mm -hmm. I know there's a a huge company in um, Kikuyu town Mm -hmm. where they're teaching people and also trying to encourage people to use hydroponics, Mm -hmm. right? And then people are warming up to this idea because, again, the landmass is growing smaller Mm -hmm. and then people need to eat. Mm -hmm. So we need to harness all the available resources to just make sure that Africa is food sufficient and food secure. I totally agree. I think with 
having an, an alternative way of dealing with food insecurity is the way to go for a continent like De- Africa. Definitely. Instead of constantly waiting on aid. Yes. And I think watching this documentary, I think it would really um, encourage the audience in trying to come up with different ways of dealing with issues around the continent. I would really encourage people to watch this documentary because it will open up your your mind to alternative ways of farming. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And then um, instead of the ki- doing the kitchen garden, the old, old way of doing right. your kitchen garden mm. you can do hydroponics and mm. then it looks beautiful this is something that i would love to see in apartment blocks you know somebody just mm-hmm. planting their tomatoes or their mm. kales on the balcony and just even making your balcony look even much more beautiful and mm-hmm. at the same time mm-hmm. feeding your family I mean, I agree, but sometimes I feel like kitchen garden is nice. The the experience is quite nice, no? It is, but now the times that we're living in, mm-hmm. we do not have the liberty or the luxury of having a kitchen garden. Right, that's yeah. true. So because it's more of apartment blocks coming up yeah. because the population is growing. That's very true. Say, yes, so hydroponics, I think, is the way to go. Definitely. I think a very interesting uh, documentary for the audience. Thank you so much, Jeff, for your time. Thank you so much, Fatia, for having me. Remember, you can watch this documentary on our CGTN platforms on Sunday. It runs live at 12.30 East Africa time, 17.30 Beijing time and 9.30 GMT. On Monday, it will be uploaded on our YouTube channels. See you next time.